Good morning, cuties. This is Wednesday hump day. <laughs> so I basically just woke up. Well, no, actually, uh, I laid in bed for a little while and looked at social media because are we all addicted to that? So I had some food as well. And I had some leftover from yesterday. Um, it was rice, lentils, tomato sauce, paprika honey and brussels sprouts so i had that warmed a bit of that up and i'm gonna do myself a tea i'm craving tea i don't know why like i'm a big coffee drinker but i used to be an even bigger tea drinker so this is chai citrouille pumpkin chai i'm craving some like cinnamon flavor some cloves and that's one of my favorite teas from david's tea um People call it the basic flavor because it comes out during pumpkin spice latte season, but I love it. Honestly, I wish you could smell that. It's wonderful. This is what it looks like inside. It's really pretty with like some pumpkin candies in there. I'm just gonna make myself a tea and then I was gonna go work out before work. But because, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to my mom's tonight. And she has like dumbbells and she has like a stationary bike and she has a treadmill so I'm gonna have more than enough options to train tonight so I'm just gonna do that. Um, yeah. Because right now I'm pretty tired like in order to bring my bum to the gym I need to take espresso. <laughs> I don't know like I, I'm healing so Whenever it's a really rough emotional day, like I was crying a lot yesterday, I always wake up feeling sluggish and tired the next day. And I had like a migraine because of my crying, so. But I'm happy to say I feel much better today. My yoga class turned my mood around. Like, I can't even begin to tell you. I told you yesterday, but I just can't even. Yeah, I'm so grateful. Like, I'm honestly so, so, so grateful. And... I just need to remind myself every day that I'm lucky to be where I am, like, even though there's a reason, there's reasons why I was feeling like this, why I was feeling sad and tired and anxious, like, more anxious than I've probably ever been, like, I, I just felt like this knot in my chest. There's reasons for that, but those reasons are temporary, and I can do something about it. Might take time, but I can do something about it, so I just need to remember that I'm so lucky just to be here and to be able to teach yoga and to be able to be healthy to have my arms and my legs and a functioning heart you know what i mean like it's we take those things for granted but all right uh <laughs> i'm gonna finish this tea i'm gonna put it back and once it's all ready i'm gonna drink it and i might eat a banana with peanut butter before I go to work. We shall see. Hi guys, um, am I zoomed in? I was, hi guys. So I'm at my mom's place right now, so I'm uh, just here to cultivate some good vibes because I love my mama. She's the best and uh, so I decided to go there to relax and be in my childhood home and just have a nice resting sleep, uh, recharge because I have a big week ahead a big weekend actually ahead so i'm about to train i just got here and i'm gonna do a little warm-up on the stationary bike and then it's booty and abs day today so i'm gonna film that for you um she doesn't have a lot so i'm gonna use her five pounds <laughs> her five pounds dumbbell so I'm about to do that and I'm going to show that to you. I hope you enjoy. I hope you had a great day. Bikini series is going pretty well. Um, I feel sore. My shoulders are sore. So that's a great, great thing. And my obliques as well. I know you saw my little, uh, <laughs> my little crazy workout there. It was the hidden abs from Tone It Up actually. So 
Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the memory card was full uh, during the workout and I didn't notice, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, my heart rate is still uh, going up a little bit. So I did 10 minutes, uh, 10 minute warm up on the stationary bike and then three sets of the sumo squats and the Romanian stiff leg deadlifts and then three sets of the hip hip abductor adductor i think abductor hip abductor with the dumbbell on the side and then three more sets of the squat with the dumbbells shoulder at the shoulder height i'm sorry i really can't i don't have a breath anymore Shoulder height, so that was that and then uh, we're supposed to do another 30 minutes of cardio So I'm either gonna do the stationary bike or run on the treadmill, but I need to eat first So I'm probably gonna do the stationary bike because that was just the classic when I lived here in my childhood house um, We would watch a Disney movie and I do some bike and I would sweat and That's what I used to do. So I'm probably gonna do that So I'm gonna show you my meal five is going to be tofu with bok choy and probably noodles. I know noodles are frowned upon, but my mom is making the meal because she knows it's my favorite. So I'm very grateful and I'm going to eat it and I'm going to enjoy it. And there's a lot of good vegetables in there and I might have some frozen cherries as my dessert. So I'm going to show you all that later. Hi guys, just got back home from work. It was a good productive day. I did a lot of editing, um, so that was good. And this morning I did not work out, so what I'll do is um, have a kettlebell at home. So I'm gonna do a kettlebell workout and then it's extremely nice out. So I'm gonna go outside and play some Pokemon Go. <laughs> I know, I'm such a geek. <laughs> so I'm gonna go outside and play Pokemon Go. So I'm probably gonna walk around for like 40 minutes or something so that's gonna be good I'm probably not gonna film it but we'll see maybe 
Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. Okay, I just need to show you how satisfying this avocado is right now. How perfect is this? Isn't this like the most perfect avocado you've ever seen? Literally, I could cry. That's how beautiful this is. <laughs> oh my god, I almost feel bad slicing it up. Actually, no, I don't. Because it's a perfect avocado and it's for me. <laughs> Final proof that I'm a big geek. <laughs> I'm about to put this thing. Oh my god. The tripod just died. Hello. Stop dying. So this Pokemon bad bomb. And I'm gonna play some DS. So let's go. How can I put this tripod without it drowning? Okay, let's... That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hoping that I either get Pikachu or Owlette because he was my baby. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god. It smells like strawberry. I'm not even kidding. Hi guys. So last time I was just about... Buddha. Hi guys, so last time as I was just about to film my bad bomb, my Pokemon bad bomb going in the bath, my battery died so I didn't film it and I didn't end up using it because I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna do it now. Just a reminder, this is the Pokemon bad bomb, you've seen it a million times. And it actually, I didn't notice at first, but, sorry. It's always more difficult picking it up with one hand, so I didn't notice, but it's a Pokeball. How cute is that? Oh my god. It's adorable. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So it's a Pokeball, and you can get the new ones or um, Pikachu. So I'm gonna pull it in the bath for you, and it smells like strawberry. Okay, I'm ready to drop the Pokeball, let's see who I catch. Who is my starter Pokemon? Let's see. Nice red water as expected. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is that Rollet? Is that you, my little baby? Yes, it is. My starter Pokemon in Pokemon Moon. Real MVP cutie right there. All right there. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, oh I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is going to conclude my vlog. Um, you saw my booty workout. You saw a bit of everything of my day-to-day -day life. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to enjoy my bath, and I'll let you know how it is. Um, it smells delicious. It smells like strawberries, so... Always down for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great night, my cuties.